Hey, hey. How's it going, guys? How's your first half? Good. Yo, how's your first half? Was it good? Was it good? Woo! All right, just wait till the second half. But first, we got a little bit of intermission and also a slideshow karaoke coming up. Um, if you like this event so far, can you please pull out your phones? And then there's going to be actually February 11th. I want you to put it in your calendar. 6 to 9 p.m. is the next night. So it's only a few months away. And I want to make sure you guys get tickets and seats and so we don't sell out. So I really appreciate if you put it on your calendar right now. Um, so I'm Vid, the student director here at Changemaker Central. Um, and you're like, uh, what is Changemaker? That makes me nervous. I don't know what that means. I'm like, so basically, it's a community to develop your passions. That's all it is. Come in our space, visit our spaces. We're on all four campuses. And we want to develop your passions, whether it be entrepreneurship, storytelling, or community service, or anything. We just want to accept you and be accepted in this wider range of a university that is so diverse and has so many stories, as you can tell on stage tonight. All right, so I also want to give a little shout out to uh, Changemaker Challenge, which is happening soon too, which is uh, due November 22nd, and it's basically a seed funding competition for entrepreneurs. Um, it's going to be really, really cool, and there's a lot of cool, um, actually, in the next kind of second half, will be Pat, who will be presenting, and he already won the uh, Changemaker Challenge on our humanity. Anyway, I wanted to talk about kind of our sponsor. Without them, it wouldn't be possible, and it was Arizona State Credit Union. Um, before I start talking about Arizona State Credit Union, I want to share a little personal story. Um, I'm working on a student venture right now called 33 Buckets, um, and we are currently scaling in uh, multiple different countries. And basically, um, what we're doing in all these different countries is we're doing a kind of a water distribution not profit out there in all the countries, and uh, basically, we realize that we don't, we don't want to be liable for all this kind of business that's going on, and so we wanted to become an LLC. So we started searching all over the valley kind of for the best sort of uh, bank credit union, anything that could support us, and we decided to go for Arizona State Credit Union. Woo! Um, and actually, I got my card right here. So I'm an official business owner, and it kind of feels really good, and they made it possible. Um, not only did they have really low fees and made it possible for students to become actually business owners, but they also have, they're also really involved in the community. Um, they also do a lot about on um, kind of, uh, what's it called? Yeah, so a lot of giving back to the community, and also uh, they're membership owned. And so they're actually a local cooperative here uh, uh, in Arizona, and basically, what is, what is a cooperative? A cooperative is kind of uh, a membership, membership owned sort of uh, shareholding practice, basically. So if you're a member, you get to influence kind of the decisions of Arizona State Credit Union. And what does this mean? This means basically that you get to influence uh, kind of like the low interest rates they have, also the high end um, dividends on the savings. Um, all, all of you, have you guys heard of Arizona State Credit Union before? Raise your hands. Yes, yes. So the reason why, you know, is because they do a lot of community action and community service. Um, they like to be involved a lot, and their, their mission is to make the possible impossible through all the work they do outside of their work. Even though they, they already have great products, but they want to give back to the community, that's what they're all about. And so there's a few programs they do. They do sponsorships. They actually do federal, um, financial literacy programs. They also um, do community service, and they also want all the members to be financially independent. Um, so everyone here at Changemaker Central uh, believes everyone is a change maker, and same with as in a credit union. They want everyone, wherever you come from, whoever you are, to come in and make your dreams possible, and also make your long-term and short-term financial goals also possible. And so, Arizona State Credit Union, I really want to thank you guys so much for making this possible, and it's been incredible so far, and uh, I really hope we continue this relationship. But without further ado, I really want to start the Slide Shoki Karaoke, which they are sponsoring the prizes, so without further ado, here we go, Noir. Check, check. Hello, hello everybody. Hello. Hello, oh. I'm a new face. I'm Brandon Marks and I'm the speaker preparation coordinator for Ignite. Two time Ignite speaker and former slideshow karaoke victim speaker, I'm not really <laughs> sure. And ended up it being really nice because I won and I got a $25 Chipotle gift card. So like college, Chipotle, amazing. I'm broke and it was amazing. So tonight we want to tell you about slideshow karaoke. But first, how was intermission? Was it good? Good food? Good. We hope it was as fulfilling as our first seven speakers. And yeah. Hey, Brandon. Slideshow karaoke, right? You want to know about it? What is that? Well, every year we partner with Arizona State Credit Union to bring you slideshow karaoke. So hopefully tonight during intermission, you've talked to a friend, a speaker, or a total stranger 
and come up with something, a new idea that they didn't even think about or you haven't thought about before you saw their presentation. So in the spirit of Ignite, slideshow karaoke is something that we do every year that really trips people up, but we want to make it as fun as possible. So what's the catch? It's just like Ignite, except it's totally random. And the audience members that have been selected are also random and hopefully have never done it before. So it's eight slides, 15 seconds each. They have two minutes to craft a story from the slides that I've selected. Nobody's seen them except me, so if you hear me giggling in the rafters, that's because I've spent a long night finding the weirdest photos online and in my downloads folder. Most of them are already in my downloads folder, so like, don't judge me, but they were already there. I'm pretty weird, so this was like the highlight of my like, so school year. So this was year, pretty maybe. easy for you. Yeah, like, Bless. yeah, it's amazing. So they need to make it sad, make it memorable, make it cool, as long as they make up something. So we have three speakers, and so let's bring them out here. What, 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 what? <laughs> Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, just stand right here, stand right here, stand right here. So stand over here, stand over here, back off here. And so what, how this is going to work is there's eight slides, 15 seconds, like I told you. And at the end, there will be a black transition slide like in the first half, so you can clap for them. And at the end, you're going to help Nora and I select the best speaker by cheering for them. And in it for them is a $25 gift card and a bag full of goodies. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> So let's get started with our first speaker, Spencer Babernacki. Thank you. Hello, everybody. How are you all? Good. That's wonderful. I'm doing well, too. Hopefully, this will be fun. I think it's going to be fun. So, OK. So once upon a time, I think every good story begins with once upon a time. So that's how we're going to begin this one. There was a woman named Cheryl, and she, wasn't, she was a child. She collected millions and millions of Furbies. This is only a small subset of the many Furbies that she has in her home. And Cheryl also collected these small little Tomagotchis because she really liked the idea of having a pet, but she didn't really want the responsibility of like feeding it and stuff and cleaning up after it. So Cheryl was really obsessed with Tomagotchis and Furbies. But now she's a 30-year-old woman. And she really thinks she wants to make the next step into the actual real pet part of her life. So she's making this transition, and she decided she wanted to adopt this creature right here on the left. <laughs> the, this creature on the left, it's called um, a miggle. That's what it's called now. And oh, and she and her friend were thinking of the time back when they were in high school. This is Cheryl with her friend um, Lillian. And when they were in high school, they wore these fantastic clothes all the time. And she always had a Tamagotchi on her waistband. You can't see it. Um, but they were both really into it. And Lillian's like trying to push her. Oh, my goodness. So this is, so then Lillian got her middle. And then she also gave birth to a baby because she was ready for that. And it came out. And it was just a wild, wild creature. It was really, really precocious. And as soon as it came out, it could dance. So she went to a fortune teller to say, what should I do with this baby that I have? It's bizarre, and it can walk, and it can dance. And the fortune teller said, you must take your baby to the top of the tallest mountain in the land. And there you must bathe your baby in the waters. And these, um, when, she, when she went there, she found that. <laughs> She found that, she was, that there was a Nickelodeon convention at the top of this mountain. And she just thought this was very apropos because she was, I've, obviously she loves childlike things like Furbies and Tamagotchis and also Boppets, another childlike toy that she really enjoyed in her life. And so at this Nickelodeon convention, there were, you know, many people who were adults who were into childlike things just like she was. And so they all played with their Boppets and then she had people and she linked up her Tamagotchi with them and like, you know how they can communicate and stuff. And then, oh my goodness, Bill Nye showed up to the Nickelodeon convention. He is actually the world's biggest, biggest Nickelodeon fan. You wouldn't believe it. He has like, he has like, uh, what are some shows? SpongeBob, you know, keychains in his life. And they all had a really happy time. The end. Thank you. All right, so today I'm going to talk to you about my inner self. And I truly believe that my inner self can be represented by a dog, and particularly a dog that smiles and has its tongue out. You know, dogs are very happy creatures. They love to roam around in the ocean with Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. And you know, sometimes you gotta look through a lens to see life. 
And you have to answer these questions like, is the glass half full or do you have a really famous dad who is super cool and lets you sit in on press conferences? So, I mean, look at this kid. He's just, she's just like, woo, and enjoying the time of her life with her dad. And I mean, DW from uh, Hey Arthur, she has, she's just living it up in the rain. And that's what life is all about, taking the time to really go out there and enjoy the small things and, and get drenched in the rain, singing your favorite song with your cousins who are little, your younger cousins, and you just love them to death, and they like to make really funny faces. And um, you're just constantly always over... Facebook, you're just posting all these pictures and then it's always like a party and you're so excited and you really love surprise parties. And, you know, I like to think of surprise parties like Kristen Wiig from SNL. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that, but she gets pretty excited. Um, and, you know, what's a party without a goat? I think goats, their tongues, their noises, their screams, their human sounds, they're, they're the definition of a party. And... You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How y'all doing? Yes, hello. Okay, we're going to make this work. So, this is me when I'm in Whole Foods. I just look and I look for the salad and I look for things and fruits that I can put in the salad because I want each and every time I eat a salad, my face to be just like that girl right there, full of joy. Ooh! Also at Whole Foods, I will venture into the section with the utensils and I get overwhelmed. There's so many utensils. I say, do I want a fork? Do I want a spoon? Do I want a spatula? Like, this is first world probs right here. All these options, all these options. And next we've got pans. So a secret that I want to tell y'all is pans have multi-use. Not only can you cook with, cook with them, you can spank with them. You can use them as a foot bath and you can use them to um, hold a watermelon. That's something that, you know, may or may not be true. I may or may not be a wallet watermelon expert, but these, this watermelon and this man obviously have a very intense relationship, and I just want to support that and be inclusive. Um, so also, we've got a nice woman here staring at corn. Again, I feel like the theme of this is that fruit and vegetables are so powerful. Like, how often are they overlooked in stores? Like, like, how many times do you go to the cheese it aisle instead of the corn aisle? I challenge all of us. Corn. Corn. It could really just help your bowel movements, help, um, just help everything here. And so next, we've got a chicken. So chicken is very controversial, actually. We're going to take it on a serious note here. How many people know a chicken? I once knew a chicken, his name was Bill, and he did not want to become a chicken, like chicken food, he just wanted to lay eggs and, you know, have a loving relationship with his chicken friend. So next, oh my goodness, with chicken, this woman, you know, she chose to be a vegetarian and not eat chicken, so now she bites on laptops. Might I say that this has been the best slideshow oh. karaoke probably in the My history of hurts. ever. It's the best. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like, I like to giggle at my own sense of humor, but like took it to new levels, like <laughs> spanking. <laughs> Never thought of that. Very creative. You should apply for Ignite next semester. <laughs> but really, though, please do it. So we're going to bring them all back on the center. Come on, come on, come on. And we're gonna, Noor is gonna dance behind them like a little. Hey guys. All right, so this goblin. is how it's gonna work. Do you guys it. seen enough of me. Um, so basically, you guys are gonna loud as clap as, or loud as clap. <laughs> clap as loud as you want. When I put my hand over them, if you want them to win, just you, whatever you do to make noise. And then we'll just do that throughout. It's gonna be close, so be loud. Yeah, be super duper loud. Be louder than you usually are. All right, ready? <laughs> 
This is becoming whiplash. <laughs> All right, I think we have our winner! Hey, Woo! give it up. <laughs> yes. Bam. Thank you so much. You're so kind and generous. I wish I just... A little goodie bag. Thank you. Just kidding. Everybody wins. <laughs> yes. You get a gift. You get a gift. Just kidding. None of you get gifts. Just the, these three beautiful people. But you all get cars. Yes. Chipotle oh, AMC. Chipotle. You're never going to see awesome. these people Good because job, they're guys. always going to be off campus. Let's round give them a round of applause. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, I was going to go in for that.